this was the game that told you LeBron's not an MVP finalist. Like, this was the game. What about all the other games that you would have said would have made him an N- MVP finalist? How about the other 90 games or so where you go, yeah, yeah, MVP. I think LeBron is the most valuable player in the league. He shouldn't be one of the top three MVP candidates. And the reason why I'll say that, as great as Cleveland is, how many wins did Cleveland have this year? Did Cleveland have... 51 wins. Can you really be the MVP on a team that's loaded like that and you have 51 wins? Pretty warm take here. Yeah, but I look, I he's the, he's the best player in the game. But I do think Kawhi and James Harden and Russell Westbrook had better seasons for their teams, helping their teams be better. You know, Harden's transformation with Houston, that was a dramatic turnaround. It's Kawhi Leonard's team now with Tim Duncan down. You know, Parker wasn't healthy. Ginobili is usually not healthy. And it's Kawhi Leonard. And they proved to be a formidable foe in the West the entire year. And then Russell Westbrook, who I don't think they have a good team. It feels like a D-League team when he's not on the floor. He did great things there. And the triple-double. So LeBron is on the outside looking in. I think he should be fourth. And maybe Isaiah Thomas fifth on that list for MVP candidates. But no, I, I didn't think LeBron is one of the top three most valuable player candidates, even though he's the best player in the league, which I might be contradicting myself, but so what? <laughs> Why not? The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. <laughs> 